Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV, I'm your host Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. It's 2.40 in the morning. Anyway, um, dressed from work, just got home, and uh, needed to get a Monday episode out to all the peeps. I understand, uh, by the way, that the episode from last Wednesday apparently has some audio issues about a couple minutes into it. Uh, as soon as I can, which won't be till tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, uh, or maybe Monday night, depends on you know what's going on Monday night when I get home. Um, I will track down the issue. I'll probably just have to redo the video, and um, should be fine. It's one of those things where what I do is is I test the audio at the very beginning, and then I go to the very end of the episodes, make sure the audio is still good, watch till the end, figure out where the endpoints are, plop everything in. Uh, do my conversions and upload. So I don't actually watch every single episode all the way through. So I do apologize. Um, that's why the sound issues happen from time to time. They shouldn't happen in a perfect world. Everything should be great, but something may have happened during the initial conversion or the initial um, rendering process that uh, caused the audio issue. So with that said, let's get right into the wine. You may notice this is a wine in a sack. Matter of fact, it's called Wine in the Sack. Uh, this is the Vino de uh, Isaguar. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Uh, this is a Chilean wine. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon 2005. Uh, this was bought at Specs for a grand total of $8.26. Uh, apparently, this wine's been around for a little while. I did a, a really brief uh, uh, check on the internet, and they actually have a website called Wine in the Sack. Uh, and even have the information about this vintage. Um, it's an 85% Cabernet Sauvignon, 15% Merlot blend, uh, though I think some vintages are 100% Cabernet Sauvignon because the initial facts say 100%, but then the fact sheet for the 2005 shows there's a blend involved. It is aged for 10 months in stainless steel tanks, and then I think it's two months in bottle before it's released. And... Um, Let's check it out. Oh, uh, I don't I think I mentioned the valley. The Cocagua Valley uh, in Chile, we've done at least one um, wine from that area. I know because I had a hard time saying Cocagua. I think I may have done a couple wines from there. Right, let's just check it out. Different. It, it, I don't know, it, it kind of smells bad. Okay, um, you know what it is? It smells like a diaper. Kind of? Not really. I don't know, I had that kind of sensation from it, but there does seem to be a kind of a chemical smell. If you hear this noise in the background, it's the washing machine, dishwasher, just so you know. Don't know why it's on this time of day, but it is. I'm getting kind of a, you know, it's kind of a eucalyptus. Thing, almost minty with a little bit of stink. Let's see how it tastes. fruits. It's pretty good. 
eight dollars, between eight and nine dollars. I think it's a pretty solid piece of uh, wine, and um, I think it's pretty tasty. I like it a lot. I'd say I give it an eighty-eight. Um, I think it's. I think it's. I like. It. I think it's well made. I think it's. Um, it's not really heavy on the tannins, though you've got some tannins. Um, it's definitely not um, oat because it doesn't touch any oak. This I want to read the, the back of the label because I always find it interesting what um, the manufacturers or the marketing pros say the wine is supposed to smell and taste like. So let's talk about it. Uh, aromatic profile features fresh and dried cherry and dried plum with a touch of mint and dark chocolate in the background. Now I had read this already and the mint I kind of agree with but I didn't get any, I mean some fruit but I think I got a little funk um, a little little, yeah a little funkiness um, so I didn't really get the cherries or the plums or the chocolate on the, on the nose. On the palate, the wine is rich, well balanced, and approachable with a long fresh, with a long finish. Um, I don't know about a really long finish, but it's it's a decent finish, and um, I can kind of see the chocolate on on the palate, um, but I get more the the kind of the mintiness and the bright red fruits. To me, the the palate is more is, is a lot closer to what they say is on the nose on the bouquet. So um, it could be just something where. The winemaker said, well, this is what's in the wine, and then somebody in the marketing department just kind of made up a few things and, you know, didn't really know what to say. So, yeah, I think it's really good. 88. Forgot to start the timer on the phone, so there's no little ringtone for you guys to guess. By the way, nobody guessed Fridays. And it's now Sunday night going into Monday. So I will let you know what it was. It was every day is Halloween. And um, nobody guessed it. So uh, hopefully Wednesday I will have a ringtone to put on the phone. Uh, Wednesday's episode is going to be a Thanksgiving episode. It's going to be three wines. Uh, three somewhat typical Thanksgiving style wines. And so it will be probably a 15 to 18 minute episode. Uh, I look forward to that. I think it will be a lot of fun to drink those wines. And these are wines that are of various price ranges. Uh, everywhere from, uh, I think the cheapest was 7 or 8 bucks, And the most expensive, I think, was 20, 20 to $22 uh, that I got off of Cinderella wine. But it was actually what retails between 30 and 40 So, uh, pretty expensive wine. And I got it for cheaper. And that's just one of those things where I, you know, hey, I check CinderellaWine.com most days to see if there's anything that I think might be cool to review or cool to just have. And if I like it, I buy it. I've only bought a couple things from it so far. But it's kind of like the Woot.com of the wine world, even though Woot has a weekly wine special called Wine.Woot.com. And I've bought some things from that, too, and usually pretty good stuff. So, um, anyway, that's going to do it for tonight or today. And uh, I will see everybody again on Wednesday.